Hello, my name is Trolls and welcome to Sound Paint. This video is about the center, which is, to my ears at least, the prelude to the piano. The history of the center goes way back. There are many different historical records, some of them going back to 700 years BC. So the center has been around for a long time. And as you'll notice in today's video, we have an enormous amount of samples for this library here. Um, just the parts alone, if you look at them here, has a bucket load of different deep sample articulations. The sensor is best described as a variation of the hammered dulcimer. The hammered dulcimer that you may be aware of has this sort of piercing sound. You played with these unique looking mallets, but the sensor has a little warmer sound. Um, it's a trapezoid based instrument, and I don't know if that colors the sound in a unique way, but there's definitely a unique vibe to the library. It's very warm. And because we've recorded in so many different ways, really trying to appreciate the musical traditions around the center, there are many unique ways you can play this sort of percussive instrument, tonally percussive instrument. You'll just notice that we're trying to cover the instrument from so many dimensions. I often think of the physical world, the world you're in, with real instruments, the hang drum, all these beautiful, gorgeous analog synthesizers and so forth, that those are the instruments of the future. And the humble computer over here is actually a primitive representation of what really happens in real acoustics. And what sound pain is all about is to humbly appreciate the fact that the real acoustic reality is infinitely complex. And we're trying to rebuild that in sound pain. And that just requires to record instruments in insane fidelity and depth sometimes. For example, here with this gorgeous vintage centaur that we were so fortunate to record. Uh, there are many different centers. This one for me, and we went through a few, just had the right color, what I really hear when I want to hear that piercing yet warm, almost piano-like sound. But let me just show you some of the parts here, the raw parts of the library. And then after that, Nicolas Simrad is going to take over and really take this center for a supersonic flying spin. We have two different microphone positions, close and far. And we can combine them to get more of a sort of combined color between the two microphone positions. Now in some paint, we have all these different categories of instruments. It can be brass or basses or strings or pianos or whatever. And the center for me is a piano-like instrument, so it sort of should be in the piano category, but it's also percussive because you play with mallets. So we put it under what we call tonal percussion. And just to give you an idea about how much we appreciate the nuances of this instrument, we recorded different staccatissimos and staccato notes because there are different percussive lengths that you can play it with. versus the slightly longer staccato. Now, one of the more common ways to play the sensor is these very fast tremolos, but you can actually sort of muffle or dampen the sensor in different ways. So we recorded tremolos with three different dampenings just to really show that appreciation. Now, you'll notice that we have these different names here as well. Some of them call soft, some of them call semi-soft, and some of them are called wooden as well. These are different mallet types. So it's not just that we're recording all the articulations, it's also that you can access them with different kind of mallets depending on what kind of style of center you wanna play. For example, here's the wooden mallet playing staccatissimos. Versus the soft mallet. versus the semi-soft mallet. And the list goes on and on in terms of articulations, but Nicolas Simrad is gonna take over. This was just me showing you a little bit about the parts and the sort of concept behind the library, but we also have a healthy amount of programs in the library.